Good morning, gang. Happy Sunday, day after Christmas, and we all get a chance to recuperate today. <laughs> so I hope you all had a good holiday. Uh, was surprised how many people made it to the live stream last night, but I guess we all needed a break. So wanted to start something funny this morning, just th this was humorous, and tell you how well you sleep when you're out sometimes. So, middle of the night last night, I'll, all of a sudden I hear this tick, 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 tick on the floor. And I know the sound. It's it's Copper, the corgi, walking around. And I figured he was going over to the bathroom to get a drink of water because we keep a water bowl in there. And I'm back, you know, sleep, no problem. Next thing I know, I hear a flush. I'm like, holy crap, the dog learned how to use the toilet. <laughs> I didn't realize Mrs. P had got up. I was like, okay, now I'm wide awake. What the hell's going on? So it's just kind of funny. I know, maybe not to you, but it was to me. But what I want to talk about this morning uh, with New Year's coming up is actually New Year's resolutions. And figure I can give you guys a couple of days to think about this one so I don't pop it on you all of a sudden. The One of the biggest things that I see with new preppers especially, or preppers in general, is a lack of organization, okay? And I'm not talking about having nice, neat shelves or, uh, you know, all your cans faced or whatever it is. I'm talking about a mishmash of what you have prepped, okay? So... What I'm kind of challenging y'all to do is prep to prep for 2021. And what I'm saying is this, all right? Maybe you know where your shortfalls are. Maybe you don't. But start digging around, talking to other people or whatever, and make some New Year's resolutions this year. My New Year's resolution is to get a year's worth of food for everybody in the household. Sorry, I had a sneeze and blow my nose. I didn't think you wanted to see that in the morning. So, okay. So maybe everybody in the house, you know, maybe your goal is to get everybody a year's worth of food. But what kind of food do you have? Do you have a year's worth of breakfasts, lunches, and dinners? You know, like I said, lack of organization. Just because you've got 200 cases of ramen doesn't mean that you are you have a year's worth of food, all right? How are you going to do it? Is it canned food? Is it home canned food? Is it fresh food? You're going to need a combination of those. You, Yes, you can survive on canned vegetables and canned meat and macaroni and cheese and whatever it is. But you'll be putting so much sodium in your body and so many preservatives in your body, you're going to wind up killing yourself in a different manner. All right. So, you know, figure out how you can put up fresh food as well. And that leads to the next thing. You know, how, do, you know, how big are my gardens? What are my garden goals this year? What do I want to produce? And... Think about this realistically. Don't come up and go, I want to produce 500 pounds of tomatoes. Okay, you better have a whole lot of tomato plants, okay? But go through and, again, gardening is like anything else. You know, people put, oh, this is fun to plant. Well, that's great that it's fun to plant. But is it going to meet your nutritional needs? So... Do the research and find out. I've, I've done a couple of videos on, you know, I think it was five or ten plants to save your life. Uh, you know, ones that are higher in vitamin C, ones that are higher in vitamin A, whatever, proteins, things like that. Things that you should be planting. You know, do that. Uh, you know, let's talk about ammunition. Maybe you've got 500 rounds of ammunition for whatever platform you use. Maybe your goal is to get up to 1,000 or 2,000 rounds of ammunition. Uh, skills, you know, all right, maybe this year I'm going to resolve to take a first aid course, a CPA co C CPR course, uh, you know, maybe even an EMT course or something. You know, 
Those are good things to resolve to do. Paying off bills, you know what I say about that. Maybe a resolution, hey, I'm going to get my car paid off this year. Now, if, you, if you're on your last six payments, that's not really a resolution. That's an obligation, okay? But if you've got, okay, I've got two years left to pay my car off. I'm going to double up my payments, and I'm going to see if I, I'm going to, I'm going to get my car paid off this year or something, hypothetically, just giving you ideas. Uh it, it could be anything, you know, security. Hey, you know, I'm going to resolve this year to work on my security of my apartment, of my house, of my homestead, of my farm, whatever it would be. But my point is this, you know, preparation for prepping is very important. Organization is very important. You need to know and you need to be honest with yourself what you have, what your shortcomings are, and what your path is to fix those shortcomings. <clears throat> there is going to be a day guaranteed that you are going to need to use your preps. Okay, And I'm not talking about economic collapse. I'm not talking about World War III. I'm, I'm not talking about anything crazy like that. I'm talking about the power goes out for a few days due to a snowstorm. You lose a job, whatever. I mean, there's a whole lot of little SHTF situations that are going to force you to get into your preps and need them. Sometimes it's convenience. Hey, I've got my solar generator and I need to go out and do something on the far end of my property or whatever it is. And rather than try to run 500 feet of extension cord, I'm just going to take my solar generator out there with me and I've got a portable piece of power, you know, whatever it would be. So my challenge to everybody for putting together your 2021 resolution list is figure out where your shortcomings are, figure out how to solve them, write them down Okay, what you're committing to do, stick it on the refrigerator so you've got to look at it every day. Communicate with your family, this is what our goals are for 2022. And then stick to it. Because the last thing anybody wants is to have that saying, Oh my God, I wish I would have done this. We have the luxury right now of being able to plan, of being able to procure, and of being able to learn. You're not going to have that luxury in any sort of SHTF situation. Your car breaks down and it's the only car you have and it's gonna be in the shop for two weeks because they're waiting on a part. and You can't go to the grocery store you're going to be happy you've got preps in a house, okay? Your car breaks down and the power goes out and you can't go to a, <clears throat> a place to stay warm or whatever. You're going to be happy you have a backup source of heat. You know, it's little things like that that will make a huge difference in your prepping ability, and your overall preparedness. just wanted to share that one with you guys, make you think a little bit this morning. Have a good Sunday. Pinball out.